Hello and welcome to our special programme to acknowledge our wonderful students for our 2021 Student Awards. Normally, within an academic year when we don't have COVID, we would have a massive celebration at the end of the academic year when we would invite in all of our nominees. But unfortunately, due to the COVID restrictions, we've not been able to do that this year. But we did not want to not take this opportunity to recognise the outstanding talent and achievement of our students that walk our corridors. So please take a moment, put the kettle on, make a cup of tea, take a couple of moments to celebrate and watch our amazing students for our student award winners for 2021. So our first award is for the South Sefton Campus Student of the Year. And the winner is Mia Atkinson. I'd now like to take the time to read out some of the reasons why Mia was chosen as the South Sefton Campus Student of the Year. Mia's application to her studies has been unwavering for the duration of the two years she's been studying A-levels. Mia has had a very difficult personal circumstances into a, in addition to the challenges of lockdown and to get three offers to study medicine at prestigious universities has been a phenomenal achievement. She has been a delight to teach with her passion for science and her continuing questioning. She's a fantastic role model and an ambassador to the college. The winner of our 14 to 16 College Student of the Year is Connor Green. Connor has undergone an amazing journey through his two years in the 14 to 16 College. When he joined in September 2019, he did not always recognise that the freedoms of college came with personal responsibility and grasped the opportunities that presented him. However, he came alive during his vocational sessions and from the very beginning was praised for his motor vehicle tutors, for his enthusiasm and involvement. The award for Apprentice Student of the Year goes to Olivia Sherlock. I feel Olivia deserves the Apprentice of the Year as she not only went above and beyond in her work and qualifications, but her skills to work and the changes in her attitude was a pleasure to see. Olivia has become a mentor for my next apprentice and the company and filling the role so well. Higher Education Student of the Year is to Zan Byrne. Suzanne has shown accepts exceptional dedication and commitment to her course and has been offered three places with prestigious universities. This includes University of City of Liverpool and also Edge Hill College. There is no doubt that Suzanne will go forward and be a credit to the NHS provision. The L20 Hotel School, Floral Design and Travel and Tourism Visitor Economy Student of the Year is Lucy Jones. Lucy has been at Hubert College studying travel and tourism for four years now. Throughout this period, Lucy has managed her studies as also providing full-time care for her grandparents. As well as showing great resilience through this, Lucy also demonstrates positive attitude towards learning and a willingness to help her peers. Thornton College Student of the Year is Jack Deacon. Jack Deacon has been at Thornton for two years, having previously attended Bankview. When he came to Thornton, he was the only student from his school and had taken part in transition visits on his own. Jack has immersed himself into activities at Thornton, both academic and enrichment, and has to be said, is one of the most popular students that we have here at Thornton. Life skills, Young People Foundation Learning Student of the Year is Matthew Hind. 
Matthew got himself involved in all activities and built his confidence up. Matthew has achieved the Team Leader Award for his dedication to the programme and the effort he put in. Since completing the Prince's Trust course in late November, Matthew stayed with Foundation Learning, developed and continued on a Level 1 Personal Development course with Hugh Chews. Life Skills Young People Maths, English, Science and ESOL Student of the Year is Rachel Walker. Rachel Hugh Bird has thrived as a student. Rachel has looked at this as a second chance to go into education. Rachel joined us at Level 2 Applied Science and will be returning to us to do her Level 3 Science. She supports with all the students around her and a lot of the staff have said she is as if she is an additional resource within the classroom. We look forward to welcoming Rachel back for Applied Science next year. She is an absolute joy to have in the college. Technical Skills Student of the Year, Stephen O'Keefe. Stephen has 100% attendance and always applies himself fully to anything he does. Whether it's assignments or class tasks or practical activities, he is on track to gain an A in his level two, moving forward towards a A star. Although Stephen can find aspects of the course challenging, he has pushed himself out of his comfort zone, growing in confidence and to deliver in presentations and be an overall outstanding student. Technical Student of the Year goes to Pav Dazikor. Pav is an adult learner in the Level 2 group. Um, he's from Lithuania, therefore English is his second language. However, this has not stopped him in the class. He works twice as hard as anyone else, always using humour to overcome some of his language barriers. He's been an outstanding student and a joy to teach. So every year we also appoint three additional special awards to recognise students for different things that they've done for the college. These three awards are our Community Project Award, our Personal Development Award and our Overall Outstanding Achievement Award. So it's my pleasure now to announce the winners of these three awards. For our Community Award, it goes to Aidan Dowling. Aidan showed outstanding commitment towards the community project. Aidan volunteered within his own time and has had a substantial amount of distance to travel. While working on the project, he displayed excellent teamwork skills and was extremely committed to carry out his work to the highest standard going above and beyond his fellow peers in some difficult circumstances. It was a privilege to have him as part of the team. For our Personal Development Award, this goes to Michelle Wright. Michelle is a mature student returning back into education in an attempt to retain in an area that she was, has developed a personal passion for. She's a mother of three, who has combined the duties of parenting and the commitment required to complete both a theoretical and a practically based intense qualification. Michelle has also had to deal with ongoing chemotherapy treatment for a cancer-related illness. She is a true inspiration to both the, her fellow peers and the staff here at Hugh Bird College. And our Outstanding Achievement Award goes to Suzanne Byrne. Suzanne showed unbelievable resilience towards her course. Not only is she her mother, but has also overcome a major operation which required her to have a substantial amount of rehabilitation. She has juggled her personal life being a mother and also working within the NHS as a frontline worker one while maintaining a high level of distinctions throughout her academic qualification. Suzanne is a leading light of what all students should involve and show, both resilience and commitment 
as also a commitment to her community. This is why we appointed and gave Suzanne the overall outstanding achievement of the year. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the staff that were involved in nominating our students, being put in front of the camera and speaking about our students. And but most importantly, I want to say a massive thank you to you. Students at Hubert College are truly inspirational and it's these things that make us realise why we actually come to college and why we are here as staff to support you. Thank you again for all you've achieved this year and thank you so much for being a true inspiration. Have a fantastic summer and for some of you, I'll see you next year. Take care everyone and well done. Class of 2021, you truly have been inspirational.